Oh man, guys, that last puzzle worked up an appetite for some lovely kibble. Eat it all. Well, maybe we'll eat it all. Kind of full. Um, and let's do our final puzzle here so we can get our performance review. Because, you know, if you're going to get judged, you might as well get judged. All right, who are you? Failure log. I hope this isn't our boy. I guess it might be. But I don't regret it. What was there for me in Greenville, huh? A farm? Maybe. Forty years on the back of a tractor? That wasn't the kind of life I wanted anyway. I've seen the stars. Been to hundreds of different planets. I've lived with aliens. But no one knows. Not even my parents. Now my, my parents are probably dead now. Uh, uh, it's strange, I've never really missed human contact. I was always a bit of a loner anyway. But I'd, I'd like someone to talk to now. The overlords gave me books and records, you know. Forgot the record player, but that's okay. I made my own. They kept me comfortable. I finished up a while ago, but I can't get back to the ship. I'm tired. So tired. Maybe I'll just sit down here and wait for them to pick me up. The sky is clear now. <laughs> the stars are all different from Earth, but they still shine. <laughs> my Love goodness. Me. I'll just close my eyes for a bit. Yeah. Just, just for a moment. Poor guy. All right. Well, I guess he uh, he got he got a, a long life out of it. Uh, let's see. We're gonna need a multi pusher here, or we want to weld these. Um, we might as well go ahead and weld them, right? Do like we did last time. So let's slide them out one more. Oh, like that. Get our four blocks here. We're gonna send our milling blocks over that way. So we we'll want pushers for that, and then over here. Actually, we only need one pusher, and here as well. We only need one pusher. So like that. We need a block and a sensor. And let me try to remember to make sure to connect these directly this time. There we go. So now we should get two going this way. Oh, they're not welded. Okay, wait. Uh, we're going to have to route around the weld. Because we will want welders. Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We can't weld them here. At least not all of them. We could weld these last two. Yeah, actually, no, we can't weld them here. Because uh, it'll weld all four together. I wish there was a way to specify a break in a chain of welders. But there's not, so we have to, we have to keep that in mind. So we're going to have to take these this way. Like that, and then weld them here, maybe. Let's we'll set up a welder right there. And then we'll take these over um, to a platform and weld those there. Downward welder. Okay, and then we can just take it into here. And I think that we're only going to need one conveyor to accomplish that. So let's try that. So now we should be getting milled pieces out. And we only want one. What's happening? It's not working. Oh, der. Der, der, der. Okay. I don't have pushers on here. The pieces are individual. So we need a pusher there. And I guess... 
save on some piping because we also need a pusher here. Pusher there, pipe. Oh, no, not you. Pipe there and pipe there. And now we want a welder right here as well. And then we just need... We just need these to fall, don't we? Oh, no. Let's see. We've got to line up with that. So that's right here. Uh, we need them to fall on top of each other, but we also need them to move at some point. How do we do that? I think we can do it with two blocks. A conveyor here, a conveyor here. Oh no, we gotta get this other piece on and get it get it welded too, don't we? We've gotta get all this stuff welded together, so that's not gonna that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to bring this stuff in from the other side. But for now, let's just see if it works. I think it will. I forgot we gotta get all this stuff welded together. It's not just sitting there. So two get welded. Two get pushed off. That gets milled. It gets pushed off. We're getting a little fast here, so it would be nice to have a delay. And we're getting those guys now. We need those guys to be welded as well. So let's see how we do that. I reckon we just push them onto that and weld them right here. Get that taken care of as soon as possible. And then they'll get pushed forward by the next block to come. Now, how are we going to get all of this to happen? This thing needs to come to the left. Let's suggest we're going to feed it in this way. This is going to be an expansive footprint, unfortunately. It is turned the right direction, so all we need to do is convey it left and get those guys to fall on top of it and get that to fall on top of it. How in the deuce? Well, let's make a landing platform for it all, I guess. Um, oh my goodness. Let's see. I think we have to do something like this, right? Get that on top of here. Get that to right here. And then get two of these, two of those, to right here. And then, when a sensor fires here not even, yeah that is a block when a sensor fires right here like that we'll activate a pusher that pushes the whole thing this direction and thereby onto that thing now we can probably save some bricks here but Let's see. I think we can save at least that many. And probably... Can we save that? I think we can save that one even. Yeah, let's do that. And actually, we don't need all of these either, do we? No, we don't really. Probably only need one of each of those. Okay, now let's get this over there. We want it to delay, though. We need it to be delayed somehow. I don't know how much though, so let's go grab this piece here. Of course, we're gonna need it delayed too, but whatever. Yeah, well, I kind of described how I'm gonna do it, so let me go and let me go and lay it out, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, a little playing with timing here, and I think we got this. So um, let's see, how much of this did I show? I'm not sure. Anyway, we got our pieces going through here and getting milled. That's kind of a bottleneck. It's pretty slow. Um, they're gonna come and they're gonna, f the mill piece is gonna fall right here. The two, just two wide pieces are gonna come here, get shifted down to here, fall in the center in a stack. And then this guy is gonna weld two together and they're gonna come over here. This is a delaying loop. I don't know a better way to do it. And they're gonna drop in here. When that last piece falls in, the pusher's gonna go. Right now, though, this is too fast. 
and this is quite a bit slower. So you'll see that we get one of the twos, then our milled piece comes in, and then that comes in just before our piece there. So we we got to do more here. There's got to be a way, a better way to delay. And I'll have to learn what that is, because I really don't... I'm not thinking immediately of a way to cause it to happen. So for now, we just have to kind of fine-tune it with length of time in transit. I'd like it to be well-timed, though. No, a little too short still. Okay. My goodness. Block count going through the roof over here. But, what are you going to do? Alright, let's try. Come on. Good timing, good timing. Yes. Okay. No, no, this is too fast. Okay. So... Um, let me play with the timing a little bit more and see if I can get it down. Okay, I kind of got an idea that I think is going to work if I can refine it, and that is this. So this little piece here, the milled piece, is coming out and falling into there, right? And we don't want to drop another one until that one is gone. So I, I put a sensor there, and uh, in theory, the sensor would make this pusher bar come out, and keep the um, keep the piece from falling until this uh, until this was clear, and then it could fall. The problem is they stack up behind, and I tried to extend this out. It doesn't really work. It works like the first time around. So there goes the pusher. It holds that piece back, but the problem is they keep stacking up, right? And so then they just come in a stream and we don't end up with what we need. Trying to use pushers further back ends up with a um, ends up with a problem and you see what happened there. So it just doesn't work. Um, I'm wondering if maybe there is, well obviously there's a better way to do it, but what is the better way to do it? Hmm. <laughs> I had a brief, uh, a fleeting idea, and it uh, it escaped my mind. There has to be a way to cause this to happen. Do we wait? Hold on. What blocks do we have? Do we have any other blocks? Platform conveyor, rotator, rotator pusher sensor. No, we don't have another block. We had like something that would turn off belts for a while, but that doesn't work. There's nothing wrong back there. There's nothing wrong over here. The problem is timing stuff to get it into there. Could the input rate affect? Is that just a global thing or is it per... Like if there was a way to turn these, it would be, um, it would be possible to do. But let's try this input rate thing. Um, I'll run it. Oh, hang on. Max. What happens on max? No, that's just too much. That's just too much. Chaos. Complete chaos. Plus one? I don't think this is going to do anything different. No, it's definitely not. Because what we need is for this to be slower. But the problem... The problem is this, um, we can't delay these like by putting them onto blocks and having them slide forward because by doing so we just get one after the other stacking up back there. There's no way to make it um, reason more is there. There's no way to put a pusher block behind. Where is there? No, because, you know, there's no way to do it. What I was trying to think about is maybe we could stack some up on blocks here and then have a pusher block here that pushes when that clears. But that's not going to work. 
because we can't really have a block here because then stuff will just slide that way instead of pushing out of the way. Unless... Can a block prevent it from moving? But then what's the trigger? We don't have a not trigger. We only have an is, is it this way trigger. If we had a like, is if this is clear, then push. We might be able to do it. And then it would just like push things forward one and drop us one. That's what we need is to design a dispenser. So anyway, I'm gonna table this problem for a little bit. I'm gonna go play in the sandbox and see if I can make some units, some little units of things that do important things like delay line uh, traffic on a belt. So I think that's what I'm gonna work on for a little bit. And when I get a solution for it, I'll come back and, and uh, we'll talk about this problem again. So I will see you guys later, bye. Okay guys, I think I got it figured out finally, and it's really just a matter of timing. I tried all kinds of things, and I even looked at some other people's solutions. Um, the best one I saw was actually bringing the blocks out individually, and then dropping them on top of each other and making one vertical half like this. And I guess that's like maybe the best ranked puzzle out there, but um, I played around with that for a while. I didn't really like the solution, but one thing I did do uh, was I doubled up the rate at which these guys come out and um, only am taking one block over here to be milled. So those are coming out a bit more slowly, whereas these, where we need four for two, um, are coming out a little faster over here, and that might be a good technique for later to do. Um, but really, the problem is timing them all to get welded. So I'm welding them all horizontally. So we're getting little two block strips from each of these things. And we need to stack them up and weld them vertically. And I tell you, figuring out um, how to get them in place welded and still be able to move them is, uh, is a bit of a pain. And I'll be honest with you, I've tried like a million different variations of exactly the same thing. And I just happened to get lucky with the timing here. I put in this little loop here and it made the timing exactly right. And let's run it and I'll show you what's happening. So we got these blocks coming out over here when three of them get out. We got that going through the miller. We have these two welded and then we're going to get another one. These guys are going to fall into place here and get welded vertically. This guy comes, it drops in there, gets welded. But the little um, forklift piece on the front is blocking. You'll see this gets there fractionally before that piece does, but by that time it's already pushed out and blocking the whole thing from sliding forward because of that conveyor belt. So, I mean, I could have timed it just a little slower, like two more blocks would have made this one come last, but it worked out fine because this piece is actually blocking it from sliding forward. Or is it? Actually, I'm not sure it is blocking it from sliding forward. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why it's working. I couldn't say. But it is working, and I'm happy enough with that. And you know what? We're just going to get another crappy VHS tape in our performance review. So I don't really care. Um, as long as we get their basic needs satisfied. So it looks like I did a little better on cycles than most people. Average on footprint, and a uh, little below average, on, or above average, I guess, on block score. So I'm, I'm OK with that. I'm happy with that. Um, but I actually got frustrated enough with that puzzle. Um, I did it, I don't know, 10 times, you know, trying to rearrange things. I got frustrated with that one enough to go looking for a solution, and I didn't really find one that I felt like, you know, yeah, I could just copy this and be okay with it, so I came back and managed to get through it. Hey, that guy's awake now. Oh, this guy's asleep. He comes down for every performance review, that's nice. Oh, what do we got? A Floyd cap? Yep, yeah, there we go. Why do we have a Floyd cap? I don't know. But uh, our kibble bowl runneth over over here. Clean it out a little bit. If this stuff gets stale. You don't want to. You don't want that. All right. Let's see what we got over here next time. Um, so there's our performance review. Production zone two terminal display reclamation. And then we got a block that we're getting soon. Another puzzle block, so we don't get to see what any of these things are. Well, uh, let's go see what 
this guy is. Terminal Display Reclamation. Oh, we're in a new world, of course. Um, <gasps> okay, that was a little scary. Thought maybe I'd fallen off the world. Look down before you move around in an alien city. I reckon it's an alien city. It doesn't look like Earth. Yeah, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. So, they just put us up there to trick us. So we fall down. What do we got over here? A grinder? Okay. We've got a grinder block. And you want monitors over here. And what do we have? This gadget. So it has broken monitors and keyboards and things attached to it, but we only want monitors. And I have a new block. An eviscerator. Huh. Well, I'm curious how this works. Let's uh, let's try this just real quick. So if we if we do that and we put the eviscerator down, the eviscerator 9000, will it just what cut that keyboard off? Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Oh, and more come. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I see. I was wondering how we were going to get 10 monitors out of this thing. So 10 more, or we got to get 10 monitors, we have two per, so we have to process five of these guys. Uh, do we need all this space? Is there a reason this is lower? Maybe so that we can like shift the height? But if we shift it too much, we, we can't have it go like below this level because we need them to come in over here. Huh. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll give this one a go and uh, take a look at the rest of this um, of this level of the puzzles next time around. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks very much for joining me for Infinifactory. Bye.